you can fucking achieve the absolute impossible. You don't need great parents. You don't need like a private school. You don't need to have this humongous GPA and all this other shit. What you need is the one thing I talked about in my book, which is straight up brutal work ethic. You have to be willing to outwork everybody in the world. One thing in life, this applies to everything in life. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're gonna judge you. Basically, if you guys didn't know, if you haven't watched the one video, I'll pop it up on the screen right now. But we bought a warehouse uh, for Elysium, and half of the warehouse is going to be used primarily for the inventory and in this, and like the the fulfillment of Elysium, and then the other half is going to be a dope ass home gym. So I just talked to like my tax guys and stuff. They they recommended that I should buy it before the end of the year because it's like a business write off. That's a whole other story. I don't want to bore you guys with that stuff. All right, so I just pulled up. Uh, I have to park in the back because I brought the uh, R8. Usually, I don't bring the R8 up here, but it's not the safest area, so the uh, owners let me park it in the back. So I'm trying to sell it actually currently right now. I'm trying to sell it so that we can just invest more into Elysium. This is big, you know. How much square feet is this? Uh, by now, I think it like 8,000. Oh, I like this thing. That's cool. This is my main thing I used when I was in high school. All right, so we're looking at some machines right now. This is an old school one. This is like crazy old school. But um, there's a few that I like for sure. So we're gonna probably get some of them um, and start building up the gym. All right guys, so <clears throat> I figured I'd take you through the buying process of what I'm buying for this Elysium like mega home gym. Uh, the, the space that we have is roughly, I would say that we have to work with is like 3,500, 4,000 square feet. So it's pretty big just to show you a little bit of how much this is going to cost. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to go with rogue, uh, for some of these, like, like the, the power rack for the, um, uh, then we're going to get this rogue combo rack for benching, um, like with a really fat pad, just cause I feel like it's the most secure exile has ones that I like. We're gonna get two Ohio bars, all black. So we have two adjustable benches, one flat one with a fat pad. Um, and that's gonna total of $6,600. Um, now when I go to the dumbbells and the plate systems, uh, we're gonna get basically five to 100 pounds. And then we're also going to get one pair of 120 pound dumbbells in case I have some absolute freaks over like the like the trench ones or something and they're they, the hundreds are just warm up weight for them. We're getting 10 45 pound plates. I, to just, I think this is fine to start off with. My dad has some plates at his house just in case I need more, but this should be good enough. I feel like 10 and then six 25s, four fives and then four tens. Um, and that's going to total at $6,100. So we're already around 12 grand at the moment. The exile or I don't know if it's all used, but that's probably gonna cost me like if I had to guess based on all the stuff I'm gonna buy there, maybe four grand. That'll be like a stairmaster, a treadmill. There's four machines that I'm gonna be able to get there. Um, the pulley ones that I probably showed in the beginning of the video. The thing I'm gonna get. Uh, there's gonna be a cable curl, an extension. I'm gonna get a dual cable machine that crosses this way. It might actually be with that. It might be like more six, seven grand. I'm gonna show you the hammer strike machines that I'm going to try to get. Hopefully I can get them used. Uh, they might have a connection where I can get them used. If not, I'm gonna have to buy them new. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you guys real quick the ones that I want to get. So first I want to get this isolateral chest and back thing. Cause you can do both back and you can do chest on this. I'm also going to be getting this isolateral uh, row. It's one of my favorite movements for, um, hitting my lats. It's like a lower rowing movement. I'm thinking that I kind of want this isolateral horizontal press this one right here. Um, that looks pretty cool to me for legs. Uh, I'm kind of split between these two leg presses. There's one here here as well. So this one's probably a little bit cheaper. Um, but this is probably gonna be one that I like more, but then you're gonna have to get a lot more plates for this one. So I would love to get this elite row, this pull down. Cause I'm probably gonna buy a machine, like a thing that already has a pull down on it. So I kind of want to get this HD elite rows just so I can have a really like do a heavy cable row. And I kind of want to get this chin and dip thing just so I can do calisthenics on. I plan to get into calisthenics again. Uh, guaranteed what I know we're at least gonna be spending is 20 grand, but it can get probably up towards with all these hammer strength machines. I would, I would, guess up to maybe 40 50 thousand dollars which is a lot of money it's, it's all like a like a biz like a tax write-off because it's gonna be the gym that i'm gonna be able to like film at i'll have it's gonna be insane like i plan on painting the whole back wall on um, like a mural of like mount olympus with like greek gods on it and, like something insane <sighs> all right guys we are in the home gym also known as the what do i call it 
the dungeon. So, as I'm recording, tips for growing your back. This is where I trained at majority of my lifting career. So for me, barbell rows is a staple in every single back day for me. I'm gonna throw up. New Elysium, tank tops and t-shirts are dropping again uh, in like a week or two. Um, these are like really athletic, stretchy fit, pretty dope. Back when I was in high school, I used to get flamed for being like the really big like lifter guy. I remember like the first week of my senior year in high school and I was like my heaviest, I was like 180, uh, 190 pounds. I would carry around a gallon jug with me and two protein bars and eat them in class all the time. If you used to like low key flame me and call me like Mr. Protein, I was the only big guy who was really lifting, like taking it seriously in my school. And like I know when I supposed like my physique online, they did, used to like shit talk it or like talk shit to people like, cause I post myself posing on like my Snapchat or my Instagram stories when I had like no followers and people like, it was weird, you know what I mean? But then like look where I'm at now. I'm like, this, this is my career now, my job and like, if you want to go post your physique and do all that, just go ahead and do it, bro. You can't care what anybody else thinks. You cannot live your life worrying about what other people think about you, the little things that you do. You just cannot. I mean, why would you, like, they have no impact on it, so why would you ever give them any attention or any, any, like, part of your mind? You know what I mean? It just it doesn't make sense to me. I need a good song. Okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Alexa, restart. What is this? Play next to me. Oh my god, Abby, Abby, where's my phone at? Abby, where's my phone at? Right, we are going to medieval times. Uh, I have not been there for probably like 15 years since my birthday back when I was like, I don't know, five or something. So they have pretty good food last time I remember. So we're gonna go over there now um, and enjoy it. Hopefully we get the winning night. I hope we get the green night. The green night's good luck. Huh? Are you let it film? We're gonna find out. All right, we stuck the we snuck the camera in. Apparently, you can get turned here. I didn't know that. Do you have that, that, what? Piece of, that little ticket the thing? Pass? Yeah, I'm about to buy the biggest sword after this for the game room. Holy shit, Abby, come buy a suit of armor, 62 honor. <gasps> Should I get it? Abby, I swear I would too. You I really would. I'd get that one. Put it in the um what's it called? In the new warehouse. Abby. That's crazy. Damn, if I didn't get the Rolex, I could have gotten four four night suits. We could all fought. We could have made our own medieval times if I didn't buy the Rolex. Oh, this one's lit. Nah, this one's sick. I might. Do you think it'd be a tax write-off? Yeah, if you put it in, in the content. warehouse. <laughs> Have fun. 
Yeah, but our night lost. Huh? Our night lost. Twice. Twice. Our, our, our night was getting his ass whooped. I was kind of tight about that, but... All right, so that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the bell on so you guys are always up to date when we upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. This video was a little bit all over the place. Um, I've just been really busy the last few days um, talking with like my team and stuff like when it comes like the whole business side of things like taxes and stuff like that so um, I've been having to like figure out sooner than later what I'm doing for the next year so I've been able to focus on creating as like much content content so I've just been kind of like recording what I've been doing the last few days um, so I hope you guys still enjoyed even if it's not like super hyped up or like a like a big topic of the video I don't know um, but yeah so I'm going to LA I'll be at the new Zoo Culture opening. Uh, I think I'll be out there on like the 12th of January, so in like oh, two weeks or something like that. I'll be out in LA. I'll be linking up with the Trend Twins again, so I'm um, sure to get a lot of good content while we're out there. So I'm actually starting to get a little bit leaner. I kind of went crazy. I'm getting back on a diet now. When I say diet, I'm not meaning like I'm not eating a lot less. I'm just eating a lot cleaner. I'm cutting out all the processed, like bad stuff that I've been eating recently. Um, so I'm chilling it out. A little bit on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys Monday. Love you guys. Code Alex Rogger, Alpha Line Flex Pro Celsius. Till next time. Peace out.